My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May the name of the Lord be glorified. On this day, March 23rd, it is a great pleasure to meet you through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you all. Take with me from the book of 1 Chronicles 22:16. Arise and begin working, and the Lord be with you. The Lord will be with you. David the king tells his son Solomon, Rise up and build the temple of God. For the Lord will be with you. He encourages his son Solomon in his work. So, in obedience to his father, he began to build a temple for God. He began to do his work. God was with him, so he was able to build a large temple for God. A day came when the Bible says that Solomon built a large and grand temple of God, and a beautiful palace for himself. Solomon built a large and beautiful temple for God. So God helped him to build a palace for Solomon. My dear children of God, Today you seem to be hesitating to do something. You have the plan and need equipment and resources. It may be building your house, a temple, a prayer tower, a factory, or a business. You have all that is necessary, but the problem with you is how to start your work. So you stand stagnant without moving forward. While Solomon was sitting in this manner, it was David who encouraged him to begin working. You have kept your hand in the plow. So don't turn backward, rise up and start working. God will be with you and help you build the temple. If God decides to do something, and if you boldly begin to do something for God, then he will help you complete that task. If you will only trust in the power of God, then God will help you prosper. Dear Lord, we thank you. David advised his son Solomon to rise up and start working, for the Lord will be with you and do great things for you. So until then, Solomon, who was quiet, rose up and began to work. He began to build the temple of God. The Lord was with him, as he had promised, and helped him build the temple. Lord, in the same manner, I pray that all the children will be able to arise and start working in whatever field they are in and whatever they have planned to do. Lord, their faithlessness be removed from them and cause them to have real faith in you, Lord. Lord. I pray that you will bless their faithfulness in God. Lord, don't put your children to shame. Lord, do a miracle for them and help them to complete their work successfully. And we thank you, Lord, for showing them your favor to complete their work. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I greet and bless you all, dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. May God be praised for his name. It is a tremendous joy to meet you through this auspicious message on this day, March 23rd. God's blessings be upon you all. I'd like to take the verse arise and begin working, and the Lord be with you from 1 Chronicles 22:16 with me. God will be by your side. Rise up and build the temple of God, for the Lord will be with you. King David gives his son Solomon's instructions. He supports Solomon his son, in his career. So he started to construct a temple, as instructed by his father. He got to work on his task. He was able to construct a sizable temple for God because God was with him. One day, according to the Bible, Solomon constructed a massive, opulent temple dedicated to God. And for himself, a splendid palace. Solomon erected a grand and exquisite temple for the Almighty. God therefore assisted him in constructing a palace for Solomon. You appear reluctant to act today, my little children of God. You need supplies and tools, but you have a plan. It could involve constructing a factory, business, temple, prayer tower, or your own home. You own everything you need, but you struggle with knowing where to begin. Thus, you remain still and immobile. Ahead. David encouraged Solomon to start working while he was sitting this way. Since you haven't taken your hand out of the plow, get up and get to work. God will assist you in building the temple and be with you. God will assist you in doing any duty he assigns you to undertake if you openly start serving him in that capacity. God will assist you in prospering if all you do is put your faith in his might. We are grateful to you, 
Lord. David told his son Solomon to get up and go to work, since the Lord will help you and accomplish great things. Thus, up until that point, come Solomon got up and started to come to work. He started construction on the God Temple. As he had promised, the Lord was with him and assisted him in constructing the temple. In the same way, Lord, I pray that every child will be able to get up and go to work in whatever area they are in or have planned. Lord, take away their lack of trust from them and grant them true faith in you. Lord, don't make a fool of your kids. Lord, work a miracle for them and grant them success in finishing their tasks. And we give you thanks, Lord, that you have granted them the grace to finish their work. We ask in the name of Jesus. Indeed.